Good day everyone. Today is Friday, September 23, 2022. Please sing with me, Buti Buti Mo, Panginoon. Kay Buti Buti Mo, Panginoon, sa lahat ng oras. Sa bawat araw Ika'y laging tapat kong magmahal Ang iyong kaawaan Magpawalang hanggan Pinupurit sinasamba kita Dakilang Diyos at Panginoon Tunay ngang ika'y walang katulad Tunay ngang ika'y di nagbabago Mabuti ang Diyos na sa atin nagmamahal Kay buti-buti mo Panginoon Sa lahat ng oras, sa bawat araw, Ika'y laging tapat kung magmahal. Ang iyong kaawa ay nagpawalang hanggan. Pinupurit sinasamba kita Dakilang Diyos at Panginoon Tunay ngang ika'y walang katulad Tunay ngang ika'y di nagbabago Mabuti ang Diyos na sa atin nagmamahal Pinupurit sinasamba kita Dakilang Diyos at Panginoon Tunay ngang ika'y walang katulad Tunay ngang ika'y di nagbabago Mabuti ang Diyos na sa atin nagmamahal Mabuti ang Diyos na sa atin nagmamahal. Pinupurit sinasamba kita, Dakilang Diyos at Panginoon. Tunay ngang ika'y walang katulan, Tunay ngang ika'y di nagbabago, Mabuti ang Diyos na sa atin nagmamahal. Mabuti ang Diyos na sa atin nagmamahal. Mabuti ang Diyos na sa atin nagmamahal. Our Gospel for today is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 9, verses 18 to 22. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude, and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others, one of the ancient prophets, has risen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said and replied, The Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed 
and on the third day be raised. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Peter got it right. Jesus was the Christ of God. Many others spoke of him as one who was only a great prophet. But Peter saw deeper. He saw that Jesus was uniquely the Anointed One, who is of God. In other words, Jesus was God. Though we know this to be true, we can sometimes fail to fully comprehend the depth of this mystery of faith. Jesus is human and He is God. This is hard to comprehend. It would have been hard for those of Jesus' times to comprehend this great mystery. Also, imagine sitting before Jesus, listening to Him speak. If you were there before Him, would you have concluded that He is also the second person of the Most Holy Trinity? Would you have concluded that He existed from all eternity and was the great I am who am? Would you have concluded that He was perfect in every way and that He was also the creator of all things and the one who keeps all things in being? Most likely, none of us fully would have comprehended the true deep of the meaning that Jesus was the Christ of God. We most likely would have recognized something special about Him, but would have failed to see Him for who He is in His full essence. The same is true today. When we look at the Most Holy Eucharist, do we see God? Do we see the Almighty, Omnipotent, All-Loving God who is existed for eternity is the source of all good and is the creator of all things? Perhaps the answer is both yes and no. Yes is that we believe and know in that we do not fully understand. Reflect today upon the divinity of Christ. Reflect upon Him present in the Most Holy Eucharist, as well as His presence all around us. Do you see Him? Do you believe? How deep and complete is your faith in Him? Recommit yourself to a deeper understanding of who Jesus is in His Godhead. Try and take a step deeper in your faith. Amen. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, thank you for this new day. Thank you also for always keeping our families and us safe and sound. Father, today we put our faith, trust, and hope in you. We believe that nothing is impossible with you. You are the God who can make way for us when in our limited understanding. There seems to be no way, Father. Help us to cling to you. Keep us stay afloat amid our pains and struggles. Likewise, please help us believe, Father God, that all shall be well 
in our life, and that all these trials we encounter are temporarily and will make sins in the end. Thus, bless our hearts and souls, which the find of your Holy Spirit, that we may ever be filled with your light, strength, forgiveness, and determination to go on in our journey. For all of this we pray through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless everyone, and thank you. Happy Friday!